Okay, uh, in this video, solve uh, a, a problem. This is number five from the handout packet. And uh, we'll by first drawing our navigation triangle, and then we'll go to Bowditch to figure out what formulas we need. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is draw my uh, detailed navigation triangle, and um, we'll get going from there. So my depart position from this latitude and this longitude, and so that's given to me. And I'm going to go uh, a distance and a course. Okay, great. So, and the question is, what is the, uh, what is the new position of arrival? And what, what we can infer is they want to know what is L2 and longitude 2, okay? Point of the coordinates of it. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my triangle. So, when I draw my triangle, I like to put my pencil down, make a little dot. That is uh, going to be the point of departure. So, that is 1850. So, what that means is that this represents my L1 which was 1854, um, and uh, that's 1854, and that is north. And this line here represents my longitude, which is 73 east. Okay? And I'm going to go on a course of two, so that's 090, so I'm just going to draw a line out here somewhere, okay? Now, this is a little bit of a delicate moment in the process, because I can make a, tr I can say, well, you know, that, that's, that's southwest. If I say I went west first and then south second, I'm going to get this triangle. That's going to be my C. And you can do that, uh, but that is, uh, you, you'll have to follow different rules to convert C to CN. So what I suggest you always do is do the north-south first and the east-west second. The north-south first, what I'm going to end up with is this triangle. Okay? So, um, great. So uh, I've got that triangle. And, um, you know, so C, this is going to be L and also M, okay? Now, the, those are related, but they're not going to be the same. Just like this is going to be P and D low, they're related, but not the same. And then here's D, okay? So I was given this and this, and heck, if I wasn't given this and uh, the D, that's going to be 1,150 1, miles, Okay, and that was given 253. Now that angle is, this angle C is what I need to do my computations. Okay, um, uh, you know, they gave me, this is actually CN, that's course from north. What I want is the little course in there. So this is 253, okay. Uh, what I want is that little angle. Well, I'm going to take 253, I'm going to subtract 180, and that's going to give me the little C. So uh, C uh, is going to equal CN minus 180, which in this case is going to equal uh, 253 minus 180, and that is going to be, what is that, 73, I think? Okay, um, so I think that's 73. Yeah, that's 53 and 20, that's 73. So that's what my C is, okay? Great. All right, now, uh, what else am I going to do now? What we're going to do here, okay, I have L1, and longitude one, and what I want is, is I want the value of L2, what is it, and longitude two, okay? What is that, okay? Well, to do that, I'm gonna have to, if this is my latitude one, I'm gonna have to figure out what my little L is, okay, my change in latitude, and apply it to L2. So I'm gonna have to do that. And I have my longitude, uh, so what I'm going to need to do is calculate what my D low is and apply it to my first longitude to get my second longitude. So I'm going to have to do that, okay? Um, and uh, since I'm east, okay, since my longitude is east and I'm going to the west, uh, I'm, my D low, uh, I'm going to have to uh, subtract that later on. We'll come to that in a minute. Okay, great. So let's go to Bowditch and figure out what formulas we need. So first of all, let's figure out which example we have. So uh, we go to Bowditch, and um, uh, here's uh, page 585, and here's example one. Uh, and I did example one in another video, but this one is trying to find course and distance. Well, we have course and distance. They're trying to find the uh, position of the arrival. So let's flip over. We'll go to the next page, 586, and I go to example two, and it's like, oh, oh, hey, hey, this is it. This is where they give me my departure. Of course, oh, this is like my problem. Find latitude and, point, and longitude of arrival. Great. So now I'm like, I'm cooking with gas. I'm like, hey, now where are the formulas? So I look. I don't see the formulas. What the heck happened? Well, the editor on Bowditch dropped the ball a little bit. But have no fear, okay? Have no fear. 
Because what we can do is, is we're going to go, uh, example one and example two are sort of opposites, okay? So what we're going to do is, there's no formulas for example two. We're going to go back to example one and we're going to extract the two formulas from example one. But what we're going to do is, is we're going to do them in opposite order. We're going to do this one first and we're going to do this one second, okay? So we're going to do them in opposite order. Okay, that's one thing. But on top of that, we're also going to transform them. So I'm going to solve it for L, and I'm going to solve this one for D low. Okay, so let's take this one. Let's take this one first. First, I'm going to do 1, uh, D equals L secant C. So first thing I'm going to get rid of is that secant. So D equals L over cosine C. But now I want to solve this for L. So I'm going to multiply both sides by cosine C, and I'm going to get L equals D cosine C. That's going to be the first formula I'm going to use over here. So I'm going to write this, 1, uh, L equals D cosine C, okay? Great. Now, the second formula, okay, is uh, tan C equals D low over M. So this is here. I'm going to go tan C equals D low over M. Now I'm going to solve it for D low. So I'll multiply both sides by M, and D low equals M tan C. So that's the formula I'm going to do second. So I'm going to write that here. 2, D low equals M tan C. Okay? So great. Now, there's my C, 73. I'm all set. I got my two formulas. So as I look at my formulas now, to solve this formula, I need D and C. Well, heck, I've got D, this is D, and I've got CN, but I converted it to 73. So I have those two terms, boom, I'm all set. Now, for the second one, D low, I need M and tan C. Well, I got C, okay, it's going to be 73. Where am I going to get this M? Oh, that's the meridional difference. I need L1 and L2 to get that, okay? So, in order to get a little m, I need to subtract big M, uh, I need to get the difference between M1 and M2. In order to get the difference between M1 and M2, I need L1 and L2. Well, they gave me L1. I don't have L2 yet. The only way I'm going to get L2 is to solve for little l first. If I solve for little l, then I can get the difference between this latitude and that latitude, and in this case, I'm going to apply it Okay, and this, all right, so I'm going to calculate little l. I'm going to apply it to l1, and that's going to give me l2, okay? And, oh, boom, then I'm going to have, uh, well, I'm going to go d cosine c, and so I'm going to calculate that. So calculate little l, and then apply little l to l1 to get l2. Once I have l2, then I'll be able to calculate m. Boom, I'm going to be all set. But let's just take a quick peek at Bowditch, Okay. Let's take a quick peek at Bowditch. So this is example two, the one I'm like, oh, this, well, this log stuff, I'm gonna just get rid of that log stuff. Get rid of you, okay, great. So, hey, look at this. Hey, this is Bowditch calculating little l. Oh, uh, okay, so this is Bowditch taking D and C and calculating little l, okay? And then Bowditch takes little l in minutes and converts it to degrees minutes so that Bowditch can apply it to L1 to get L2. Boom. Now. Once I have L2, this L1 is going to give me this in table 5. And now I have L2, I can get M2 in table 5. And then with those, I can get little m. Once I have little m, I can do this formula. I can do m tan c, and out pops d low. And then look over here what Bowditch does. Bowditch takes longitude 1, he applies the d low, and out pops longitude 2, and the problem's done. So that's what we're going to do, okay? All right, so hold on. Here we go. First thing I want to do is um, I'm going to set myself up like Bowditch, okay? So I'm going to set myself up kind of like this. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go... I'm going to go like this. I'm going to do L1, L, L2. So I'm going to go like this. L1, L... L, uh, L2. So looking at my diagram, I'm going to, I have to calculate little l. I'm going to do that in a minute. Um, but uh, uh, once I have L1, I'm going to calculate my little l. That's going to be this right here. Okay. 
I'm going to apply it, and that tells me I should subtract because I'm going to the south. So the north is, anyway, great. So that's, I'm going to have to do that. Great. And then I'm going to do M1, okay, M2, okay, I'll come over there, and then that's going to give me little M, and then I'm going to go, what about it's due? Oh, about it's did longitude 1, D low. Longitude 1, D low, okay, and now I'm going to look at my diagram. Am I going to add or subtract there? I'm going from 73 east, I'm going west, my longitude is going to get smaller, I'm going to subtract. Okay, so uh, there we go. So now the only thing I need to start this whole process is, is I need little L. Okay, once I have little L, then I can plug it in there and then I'm off and run into the races. So um, uh, let's see. Let's populate here a little bit first though. Uh, L1 is 1854 north. And the longitude one is 73 east great okay great so now i got to calculate little l so little l is d cosine c little l is uh what is d 1150 times the cosine of now i could stick 253 in there but that would not be proper okay i'm going to end up with a negative number i really should stick 73 in here okay oh that's not 73 it's cosine 73 okay all right so here we go calculate little l okay and we've got uh 1150 times the cosine of 73 and that gives me 336.2 so little l is 336.2 so now i'm going to apply that to l1 all right, and uh, you know, that's degrees minutes. I can't go sticking that up there. I got to convert this to degrees minutes. And by the way, you see Bowditch calculated little L, 238.8, and then he converted it to degrees minutes. So that's what we're going to do now. So 336, I'm going to divide that by 60, okay? So uh, take the 336.2, divide that by 60, and you get, divide that by 60, and you get 5.6. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that point 0.6, so it's 5 degrees, and I'm going to just subtract 5, and then I'm going to multiply what the decimal by 60, and that gives me 36.2. Okay, great. So that comes up here, 5 degrees, 36.2. Okay, now that is to the south, uh, and I already know that I'm supposed to subtract that, so boom, let me do that. So when I do a little bit of math here, um, I'm going to get uh, thir uh, 54 minus 36 is going to give me 17.8. Uh, and uh, that, uh, 18 minus 5 is going to give me 13. So that's 13 degrees, 17.8, and that is also in the north. Great. Hey, great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take L1, I'm going to go to table 5, I'm going to get M1. And I'm going to take L2, I'm going to go over to table 5, I'm going to get M2. All right, great. So, right, because uh, I found out my L. Next thing I need to do is, um, uh, is figure out M. I needed an L to calculate L2 so that I could get M2, so that I could get the difference between M1 and M2, so I could get M. And now I'm going to get M, and then once I have M, then I'm going to do this formula, and then I'm going to apply it, and I'm going to be done. Oh, my God. So much fun. So, all right, let's get our M's. So, uh, uh, 18 and 13, so I'm going to want the page that uh, is 10 to 19, and it's on page 116 of Bowditch 2, 1981. So, uh, I've got 1854. So, I'm going to, 54 is all the way down at the bottom, so I'm going to use the bottom row of degrees. So, here's my 18, because that's closest, and then 54 is up here. So I'm going to come over here, and this is what I get. All right, now it's not 47.7, it's 1147.7. So that goes here, 1147.7, all right? Now, M2. M2 is going to be proportional to 13, 17.8. So uh, 13, 17 is closer to the top, so I'm going to use the top row for that one. So here's 13, and here is 7, oh, wait a minute, I got 17, I got 18, I don't have a 17.8. So 13, 17.8, really what I should do is interpolate between these two, okay? 
I should really interpolate between these two. So I would get the difference. I'd take 800 minus that, and, and then I would multiply it by 0.8, okay? But um, what we can do here is, um, is we, can, um, we can do a little approximation. 17.8 uh, is almost 18. I'm just going to pull out the value for 18, 800, okay? So I'm just going to put in 800 here. That's going to introduce a little bit of error, but it's not going to be significant, all right? So now let's do this. M is going to be the difference of those two. So I get 1147.7 minus 800, and that's going to be 347.7. Okay, great. So I solve my L. Now I have my M. I got my C. Boom, I'm ready to do this formula. So here we go. That was formula one. Formula two, D low equals M tan C. So D low is going to equal three. 47.7 times 10, I'm going to stick in my C, not my CN, and that's 73, CN being this. I'm not going to stick in 253, I'm going to stick in 73. So uh, D low equals, uh, clear, what do we got? 347, 347.7 times tangent of 73 is 113.7, uh, oh, excuse me, 1137.2, 1137.3, 11, 1137.3, that's minutes, okay, 1137.3 minutes. So my task now is to take that D low and apply it, all right, so here was my longitude one, I'm going west, I'm going to go 11, 1137 minutes west, and so the question is, what's the new longitude? So I'm going to apply this 1137 to the 730. And since I'm going uh, I'm east and I'm going west, I'm going to subtract that. But I can't go stick an 1137.3 in there. i got to convert this to degrees minutes. And in fact, you'll see that Bowditch did the same thing. Longitude 1, D low. Bowditch calculated D low in minutes. And then Bowditch converted it. 394.6 is really 634.6. .6. So we're going to have to convert that. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to divide this whole thing by 60, divided by 60, and that's going to give me 18.95, okay? So, um, uh, all right, so that's going to be uh, D low equals 18.955, but I'm just going to leave that right in the calculator, okay? Uh, and what I'm going to do is, I know the 18 is going to turn into 18 degrees, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract the 18 from my answer. So I'm left with just the decimal. And then I'm going to multiply that by 60. Boom. Out comes 57.3. So now I substitute that up into here. That's 18, 57.3. Uh, I went to the west. And so looking at my diagram one more time, I'm in the eastern hemisphere. I'm going west. So my longitude is going to get smaller. So I have to subtract. And when I do that, uh, you know, maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll make this 72, I'll make that 60, okay? And when I do that little bit of math, I should get 2.7, and 18 from 72 should be 54, and that is my uh, longitude 2. Okay? So, uh, that's how you do that, okay? Um, and um, here we go. Just seeing here again. Okay, I didn't have the formulas here in example two, but I went to example one and I got those formulas and I did them in opposite order. I did this formula first and this formula second, but on top of that, I also had to transform these formulas and solve for the other variable, and I did that. We did that in the beginning of the video. Okay, and then uh, I uh, did these various calculations that you have there, okay?